All right, everybody. So we're just gonna do a quick little video here. I did finish up the Batwing this weekend. Um, I clear coated it, got it all. I got it on its base. I took a bunch of pictures. So they'll be at the end of the video. This isn't gonna be a very long update. So basically I, I, I clear coated it throughout the week. Um, let it sit. I got the window out. And it was fairly clean, so I didn't have to buff it or anything, thank goodness. Um, and then I, I've i been using that evergreen styrene plastic glue that for plastic windows. And it seems to work a lot better for me. So, and by far, this could be the best model I've done yet. Um, there's a couple issues with the kit, but... I can't really, well, I shouldn't say that. I probably can fix it. I just have to, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, and I'll explain that once I turn this camera around. I will talk to you guys a little, little bit. All right, so we got the camera turned around here. And like I was saying, the clear window turned out really, really good. I, I really, really like how it, that ever that plastic glue that Evergreen came out with works so good for pla for gluing in windows and stuff, and I even glued this blue piece down to the plastic window with it, and it seems to be working. So, the only issue fit wise I've had this seam right here. Um, I'm not even sure how I would fix that at the moment. I'm sure, I'm sure I would have to just putty it in, smooth it out. Um, but I think I'm just going to leave it. It, I mean, it, it irritates me, but I, I can live with it. Um, but for the most part, I mean, the paint job came out good. The, the clear coat that I use, and I might have to go get it and show you guys, but the apple barrel stuff there's an american version of it and they have a, a satin a gloss and a mid gloss and you can airbrush that stuff on so that's what i use to clear coat this with um i mean for the most part i mean i probably the only the only thing that i really messed up on is when I when I went to clear coat it, I didn't brush all the pieces down or wipe all the pieces down. So there was a little bit of dirt here and there, but you really can't tell on the camera. Um, but other than that, I do like how this turned out. Um, but for the most part, this is done. I just hand painted these little, I call them turbines or the fan blades or whatever you want to call them um and then the chrome pieces inside i just did a an oil wash over them and give it a little bit of a texture i like it it, it you know it shows the chrome side of it that's kind of all dull and but yeah for the most part this guy is done. Um, I'm really impressed on how this turned out. Um, I left the whole base thing black. I don't know if you guys can tell. But I just left it all black. Um, I don't know if I'm going to glue it on yet. It has a little bitty hook, so it'll stay on this. I mean, it's pretty... It's on that plate, but for the most part... And then... The underneath part of this turned out just as good as the, you know. I think I did leave a couple of scratches on it, but overall, I'm really, really impressed on how this turned out. Um, my next kit, I'm kind of wanting to do a helicopter. I'm really wanting to do a helicopter next. So that might be the plan. Um, I I don't really want to do the off spray, so I might just do a, 
an off thing. But for the most part, though, here it is. It's all done. I I, I think this will go in a glass case somewhere. I have a... Um, what do they call them? Chero cases in my bedroom that I've been putting stuff in. Um, and this backdrop for the city is actually from the 89 Batmobile. So that's why I pulled this out. It kind of gives it that cityscape Gotham look, you know. Um, but, I mean... <laughs> If I was to do another one of these, I'd probably try to light some of this stuff up, but I couldn't figure out how to make it all work. So, I don't know. Maybe next time. I I don't know. Okay? I will uh, talk to you guys later, and uh, pictures will be at the end. Thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah. I was going to show you guys what I use. I use this American Dura Clear. It's satin varnish is the one I use, so it's 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 got a little bit of a gloss to it, but it, it's not like a matte finish or anything. Um, they do have, like, this is a gloss one. I have used this in the past. This is really good stuff. I got to just get some more of it. Um, and then I think the other one is a soft touch. Soft touch varnish. This stuff is more, is like a matte coat. Um, I don't know. I, I try not to spray pretty harmful stuff. And that's probably about the least harmful thing that I have in here. So, yeah. But for the most part, that's kind of where the update was. Hopefully you guys enjoy the pictures and I will see you guys next time. Bye.